and I'm going to complete that quest right now. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. Ooh, that's nice. What's this contract about? We're then? usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? I guess so. Yeah, I'm ready. I accept. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottiere. Inside, you will find Mottiere waiting for you. Do not kill him. Don't kill him, okay. You see, Francois Mottiere is a marked man. Oh dear. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Right. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the Enforcer's presence. Mottieri himself will provide more details. Okay, okay. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Okay, I wonder what this special arrangement was. Yes, Spill brother. some blood for me, dear brother. Right, so now we've got a special dagger that we're going to be using for this, the Langerwine Blade. It's a bit like um, those drugs you see used in the movies that stops your heart and then they can bring people back to life later on. Like the, um, what's his name did in, in the first Saw? What's Jigsaw's real name? Well, he's not his real name in the, in the film. I can't remember what his real name is. Never mind, anyway, Jigsaw uses it in the first Saw film when he's lying on the floor in that pool of blood. Whilst uh, Doctor, what's his name's cutting his foot off, idiot. Um, right. So we need to head to Coral. I'm going to finish this one up because it's actually quite a fun quest. It's, it's original. So I'm going to head to Coral Southgate. Get in there. Now we'll get more details from the guy when we get in there. For some reason, I'm gesticulating right now. I'm pointing at the screen. I'm not sure why I'm doing this because you can't see it. I'm still just gesticulating. Really ought to stop and just talk. Right, let's head in here. Gosh, this is a hard lock. Let's make sure we're not being watched whilst we do this. Don't want to get caught trespassing. We'll be inside then. So, wait for this to load. There you go. Oh, well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I probably I've am. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. Really? I oh borrowed dear. quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. Oh dear, my friend. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides His Heart, and he's <laughs> on his way here now. Let's That's just make why fun I of his name when you. he gets here. So you Shall can I? fake my death. Right, faking your death. So uh, let's say nothing. Let's do it all just quiet. When, when Hides His Heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that idiot will think I'm dead, okay? Okay. After that, you must flee from Coral, and Hides his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. Right, Eho. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Right, yeah. Good. Hides his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. You're buggered, ain't you? Goodbye. Right, so let's wait for Hyde's heart then. Let's see how this goes down. Motieri, I know you're in there. Is he an Argonian? Not an Argonian, a Khajiit. I'm coming in, and you can beg for your life. <laughs> Not that will do you any good. <laughs> Oh, he's an Argonian. Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Eh? Who is this? I'm your worst nightmare. Oh, no. What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. Yep, you're buggered. The dark brotherhood. Oh, you have been a naughty boy, Motiera, haven't you? Stand aside, assassin. Motiera is mine. My employers demand it. I don't think so. Ah, what's this? Oh, Dark Brotherhood Assassin, please don't cut me with that wicked blade. It looks like this is the end of poor Francois. It looks like it is. We'll see who gets to cut you, Motier. Let me show you how a real killer operates. You Dark Brotherhood mongrel. Right, let's get this guy first. Cut him up. 
Now we've got to run away from Hyde Stark. Run as fast as we can. He doesn't like the idea of being undercut by a Dark Brotherhood scum, but luckily we can run a lot faster than he can. Mahahaha! <laughs> so basically our quest point is just out in the middle of the no middle of nowhere. Oh god, it looks like Hyde is high is getting shot at. Maybe I'm getting shot at. I'm not sure who's in trouble right now. Be one of us. One of us is being shot at by the guards. Hopefully it's, it's Hyde's his heart. So I'll just peg it. So I've fled Carl and Hyde's his heart has not been killed. So now we've got to wait a day. But instead of waiting an entire day, I'm going to go do Seeking Your Roots. You saw me pick up another Nern Root whilst I was talking Greetings. earlier about money making. Um, so, uh, perhaps I should bring it to an alchemist and find out a little more about it. An alchemist can be found in almost every city in Cyrodiil. Well, since we don't really want to go back into Coral right now, let's head to the city, the Imperial City Market District and talk to whatever her name is at the main ingredient. She's an alchemist. And just run around. Not yet, love. Right, so where's the main ingredient which sides it on? Is that it? No, that's slash and smash. I think it's over here. Nope, it is over this side, sorry. Yeah, there it is. But that's the Gilded Carafe. Maybe this is where I want to go to? Although they're not open yet, so... But there is a quest pointer outside, so I'm going to wait... Uh, two hours. I'll bring it to nearly nine o'clock. It should be open by then. We'll head in, we'll talk to... Just the shopkeep. I can't remember her name. She's got a name written here as well, look. I think we can take this without getting spotted. But I'm going to quick save. Just in case, yes, we can take it without being without being spotted. Let's talk, her, talk have to her. I everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. Talk to her about this Nern root. Nern root, you ever heard of these? That root seems to have strange properties, the likes of which I've yet to see duplicated in other flora of its ilk. Really? Hmm. So I believe that Cinderian in Skingrad could serve your inquiry better, as his area of expertise centers around things of this nature. Cinderian. In Skingrad, you say? Goodbye. Well, that was easy. Looks like we're heading over to Skingrad now to see Cinderian. Skingrad's just down here, so if we go to Westgate, we can get there pretty quick. And we'll go to Westgate, talk to Cinderian, and um, hopefully he can tell us what this Nern Root's all about. Can we take a short cup up, short cut up here? Yes, we can. So Cinderian. For some reason it's taken me into the West Wheel Inn. Maybe he's sat at the bar or something. Well met. Yes, hello. How goes it? So it says it's here. Reinforced door to Cinderian cellar. I ah, owns a cellar in this pub. Right, or inn. So Ah, Cinderian, hello. What brings you to my little home underground? So Got something you've that might be something for me to examine. Yeah, he might be interested in this uh, Nern root I've found. Yes. This is a genuine Nern root sample. Very nice quality, in fact. Really? Oh, that's mm. brilliant. That gives me an idea. Since you already know what they look like, do you feel up to a bit of a collecting expedition? Oh my god, maybe. Dunno. What do you have in mind? Excellent. But before you go, you're going to need to learn a bit more about Nernroot. Otherwise, you may walk in circles and never find any. This is true. So, what about the Nernroot? What can you tell me about the Nernroot? A few years ago, an adventurer not unlike yourself sold me a musty old tome containing alchemical formulas. Most of them were worthless. Right. But one of the moldy pages contained a recipe for a potion known as an elixir of exploration. Okay. A sort of ultimate dungeon delver's brew. Nice. The formula looked sound, except it required an extremely rare ingredient. Right, yes, yeah. Yes, you guessed it. The Nern, the Nern root. root. I put the book aside because, frankly, I had so many other delicate experiments going on that I just didn't have the time to go plant hunting. Well, that's a shame. So now that you're here, that changes things. Yeah, you want me to do it. So, this elixir of exploration, is it any good? You ever tried any? The elixir of exploration is a multi-purpose potion that was obviously created with the dungeon explorer in mind. Cool. The formula describes many magnitudes of the brew. If you're interested, I wrote a short missive about it for the Imperial Alchemy Symposium. Uh, whatever. You bring me ten samples of Nernroot, and I'll make the elixir available to you at a huge discount, as well as give you one for free. 
Awesome. The best place for you to start would be Shade Leaf Copse, which is a part of the great forest northeast of here. Good right. luck, and hurry back with more of the Nern Root. Okie doke. So, how many Nern Root have we got right now? Let's have a look. So we've got 11 right now, so we've got a total of 10, as it's just popped up here. So let's see if we can get our first potion. How goes the search? I've got 10 Nern Roots. If you need to know... No, I don't need. Elixir of Exploration, I'm talking about this then. Fantastic! You actually found 10 of the Nern Root. I did. I'll begin making the Elixir of Exploration right away. Awesome. According to my research from the Tome, I'll need at least 20 more Nern Root to make the next magnitude of Elixir. Righty ho. In any case, if you come back in about 24 hours, I should have the weaker elixir ready for you. Fantastic. So basically that's what Gnome Roots are all about. You get awesome potions, although I never used to use them. I had them, I never used them at all. You do quite a few, you know, a fair few things. They're very handy, I guess, if you're a dungeon crawling, but not if you're a high level, not at all. So basically we need another 19 Nern Roots now. You can see them in our stats over here, how many Nern Roots we've found somewhere. See at the bottom there we go, 11 Nern Roots. So if we find 30 now, get our total up to 30, we'll have found another 20. And we can come back to get another Elixir. We go back to him in 24 hours, we get a free Elixir potion. Um, but until then, I guess we should start heading back to Coral. I'm not going to actively search for Nern Roots. I might at some point show you, show me finding a couple of them, but you know, we'll find them in passing. We're going to go end up all over Cyrodiil, so we'll spot them. Shade Leaf Cops, I'll show you that because that's like kind of mentioned in the quest, but um, yeah, anything else, whoa, got a big boost up for something there trying to jump. Um, we'll find them. So, I'm heading towards the chapel, I'm going to go stand outside the chapel and hang around and wait a bit. Um, next video, if this lag stops, hopefully it's lag and not crash. Oh god, no idea what's going on here. But either way, let's hit escape and see if we can save before the game crashes itself. Anyway, next video. Oh, that has passed. I no idea what that was. I'll find out in a second once I've quit out of oblivion. But here it is again. Right, so it's definitely time to end the video, I think. Come on, get an escape menu. There we go. So I'll see you in the next video. We'll go, we'll wait, slash, get that thing, finish the Dark Brotherhood quest, and um, continue from there. So until then. I'll see you in the next video, guys, and you'll take care. Goodbye.